Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay and welcome to another video. Today's video is a slightly delayed May Plan With Me video. Um, I know it's already the middle of May, but I've been spending the last few weeks finishing up my final projects and exams before graduation, but I finished my last final yesterday, so now I finally have time to show you guys how I planned out my May spreads. First, I'll just flip through all of my April spreads so you can see what last month looked like for me. April was probably my best setup month yet. Um, it was my first month in my new journal, and I love how the entire month turned out. I kept up with the same color scheme for all of my monthly, weekly, and daily pages, and I love how it kept everything looking really nice and cohesive. So that finishes up April, and next are my planning pages. Um, I do this at the end of every month before setting up, and all it is is a quick review of the previous month and a brainstorm for the next month. Um, I thought about what worked and what didn't work in April, and then I used that to decide what to add to May. I also brainstormed my theme and was super indecisive about it as you can tell. But in the end, I ended up going for a pretty minimal look, and I love how it turned out. So with that, let's go right into my May spreads. I decided to do the silly little It's Gonna Be May cover spread, uh, paying homage to NSYNC, of course. Uh, nothing too fancy, and I really don't have that much else to say about it. From there, I jumped straight into this huge calendar monthly setup. Uh, I haven't done a purely calendar monthly page before because I usually have some sort of list going along with it, but I really wanted to just go simple this month. So I just have this full spread calendar with a color code to signify different types of events and tasks. It's clean, it's easy to follow, and visually it makes it a lot easier to tell what's going on, which I really like. I also use some of my own stickers for the daily headers here. I'm experimenting with printing my own stickers lately, and I love how easy they make setting up certain spreads. Uh, comment down below if you'd be interested in me selling some of my sticker designs. Um, if you guys are interested in that, that's definitely something that I want to do. So next up are my trackers, which have gotten even simpler this month with only three habits to track, and that's water, birth control, and bujo. I usually also track my study hours, but I knew that school was ending this month, so I ended up deciding to leave it out. Then on the other side, I have my favorite page of the month by far, which is my one line a day page. This month, I've adjusted it slightly by adding a color-coded mood tracker next to each line, which I am freaking loving. Um, I like that it's just integrated right into my existing spread, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's awesome being able to match my mood to exactly what happened that day. And that's all I did for my monthly spreads. Again, this month is all about simplicity for me. Um, I already have a lot going on with the transition from school life to adult life, or semi-adult life at least. Um, so I wanted this month to just make things simpler, not complicate anything, and I'm really happy with how it's working out so far. 
So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like or a comment down below if you did. And as always, feel free to subscribe down below for more videos. Check out my Instagram at planningwithk if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.